A LITTLE DOG WITH A BIG MEDICAL BILL. HE WAS ON A LEASH, BUT THE LARGER DOG THAT ATTACKED HIM WAS NOT. TEN ON YOUR SIDE'S CHRIS HORN HAS MORE ON HOW A WALK IN THE NEIGHBORHOOD LED STRAIGHT TO AN EMERGENCY ANIMAL HOSPITAL. THE JACK RUSSELL TERRIER IS A THERAPY DOG FOR MEDICAL PATIENTS, BUT NOW HE'S THE ONE IN INTENSIVE CARE. JEN WILLIAMSON IS HOLDING THE LEASH AND HARNESS FOR HER THERAPY DOG MERCY, BUT OBVIOUSLY HE'S NOT IN IT. HE'S IN AN EMERGENCY ANIMAL HOSPITAL. FOR HIS SURGERY, IT'S $8,000 ALONE. WILLIAMSON'S ROOMMATE WAS WALKING MERCY AND WILLIAMSON'S OTHER DOG, COOPER, ON THIS DUAL LEASH FRIDAY AFTERNOON ON KINGSWAY ROAD. THERE HAD NEVER BEEN ANY PROBLEMS BEFORE, BUT FRIDAY THERE WAS A PROBLEM FURTHER DOWN KINGSWAY. TWO GIGANTIC DOGS ROAMING AROUND, UNLEASHED, NO LEASH. AN OLDER WOMAN WAS WATCHING THOSE BIGGER DOGS. ALL OF A SUDDEN, THIS DOG BREAKS LOOSE FROM THE ELDERLY LADY and comes and jumps on my little dog, who's about 12 pounds. The dog had my dog in his mouth, and he was flailing with him like a toy. That's traumatizing even thinking about it. It's been so upsetting to me. Mercy ended up bloodied and bitten and in the hospital. We called and visited the other family, trying to get an explanation. Mercy and Cooper are usually on the other end of the care equation, Williamson is a home health care worker, and she uses them as therapy dogs. They are very, very good with my patients. They help them come out of their shell. She found out this morning that the other family's insurance will cover the medical costs and says Norfolk Animal Protection told her they'll investigate. Williamson has a GoFundMe page set up in case she got stuck with the bill and the insurance didn't come through. Now the proceeds from that campaign will go to local animal shelters and to help pet owners with emergency medical care. We have the link at wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.